Okay, so today this video is going to be all about my career as a substitute teacher. Um, I just wanted to come on here really quick to let everybody know all about the great benefits of being a sub and just you know, give you a little bit of background on it just in case you were interested in becoming a substitute teacher or if, you know, you know someone who's interested in becoming a substitute teacher. Being a sub is so, 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 so flexible. You get to make your own hours, you get to choose the days that you want to go in as a sub and the days that you, you, you know, you want to have days to yourself. You get to pick and choose. Uh, you set your own schedule. You can choose what type of assignment you do as well. And you just go in and do whatever it is that you signed up to do. So I think that that's really cool because it kind of puts you in control of your week, how your week is going to go, uh, how your day is going to go. Uh, you kind of know what to expect uh, when you go on these certain types of jobs. Like, you know, if you're doing push ins. You're going to have a pretty smooth day. If you're doing a whole group, it may be a little more challenging. So, you know, you're just able to prep for it and just get your mind right and just build your thinking around it. So, I really like it for that reason. It's very flexible. Another thing is you get a lot of experience and exposure with being a and what I mean by that is, one, you get to experience a whole bunch of different types of education, uh, whether it's special education, whole group instruction, small group instruction. Um, uh, you could be the gym teacher one day. You could be an art teacher, a music teacher one day. So it just gives you a whole lot of range. And then you can work with a bunch of different age groups too. Like when you're a sub and you, you have your certification, you can uh, do K through 12 as a sub. Um, so, you know, you get to work with different age groups and you just see a whole bunch of different things. You also see how the schools are ran and certain things that they might do that's different than others. Uh, certain poli policies that they may have that are different than other schools. Uh, certain resources some schools may have that are more or less than other schools. So it's just really cool just to see all of that thing, all of those things and observe and just question some things and wonder why and compare and contrast. It's just cool to be in there, in that position to be able to do that because you're seeing new things and different things each and every day. Um, another thing is, uh, as far as the exposure goes, a lot of schools are going to start to know who you are. So. Uh, you might be a common face within that district so maybe when you are ready to get a permanent position and you go to apply to those places they'll remember you and it's a possibility that you could have a better chance at being hired because you're already a familiar face they already know you if you work well then they're going to appreciate you so you just may be looked at differently than someone else who has never stepped foot in the applying for that same position. The thing is that being a sub is very, very, very manageable, meaning it's not really much that you have to do as far as prepping and like getting ready. You, it's not like you're planning lesson plans. You're not planning these lessons. Uh, the teachers are leaving instructions for you. So basically what you're doing is just following the teacher's instructions as a guide and that will guide you throughout the whole day or half day, you know, because you can do a full day or a half day if you like. That's another thing that contributes to the flexibility. You don't have to work the full day. But anyway, um, you're just uh, going off of their direction, so you're using their directions as a guide. So it's not like you have to go home and prep and plan. You don't have to grade papers. You don't have to do IEPs. You don't really have to do anything but be the teacher for that day and then go home and get ready to be someone else the next day. Um, once you're done, you're done. Like for the day, once you're done for the day, you're done. You probably won't see those students.
us again for another two weeks or maybe ever. Like, you never know. Maybe you might see in the next day. You never know. So, you know, it's just, you're not as responsible or as liable for everything as far as like a, a permanent teacher. Your job is just a little bit more relaxed and, you know, it's just giving you a chance to breathe and a chance to think about things. type of position is also a good paying position. So if you are someone who, you know, you, you need to make a certain amount of money in order to survive, that's everybody, <laughs> you might want to do this job because, you know, you get paid pretty well per day. Um, and you also get pretty good benefits. You get health um, insurance, dental, eye, uh, you can have life insurance to this job, you can do a retirement plan. So it's very good because, you know, it, it offers you stability as well. So it's flexibility and stability at the same time. Like, that's pretty darn cool. Like, it sounds like a win-win to me. So. I also wanted to mention that you really do get a chance to meet a lot of great kids while you're out there being a sub. Um, of course, you run into some challenging ones. <laughs> But you find some really nice ones um, as well. And that's like the most rewarding thing about being a substitute teacher. It's just like you get to meet so many different people and so many different personalities. So that's great. I wanted to just quickly give a shout out to one of my students that I met last week at her school. I was her sub for the day. And she told me all about her um, dreams of being a youth of being a vlogger and she needs more subscribers and more likes and everything like that so I want you all to go to her page her YouTube channel I mean I'm sorry and follow her her name is I really like being a sub. Um, it's definitely not going to be something that I'm going to do for the rest of my life, but for the time being, while I'm still trying to figure things out and um, you know figure out my next move, this is definitely the perfect thing for me right now. And you know, maybe if you're in the same position where you're trying to figure out what you're going to do, or maybe you have some plans to do some other things, and you know, you kind of need a little bit of time during the week to do your thing, this is a good job for you because you can set your own schedule, you can set the pace, and you can just plan this job around everything that you already have going on, or you plan everything that you already have going on around this job. I mean, it's just that flexible. It fits right into your life. So, yeah, become a substitute teacher. It's great, and they definitely need you because teachers are always out for whatever reason. It may be a sick day. It may be maternity leave. It may be certain meetings that they have to go to, like for their job. So it's like they're not even absent; they're still working, but they're just they just can't be in the classroom. They need you, so you're definitely needed. There's work every day. There's also work um, in the summertime too. So it's definitely a good thing, and I encourage everyone to do it. If you have questions, make sure you comment down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you check my channel for more education videos every Monday